All right, end of the day, last day here, Saturday. You can see we're, we didn't do, too, we didn't do any uh, daylight interviews, did we? All right, well, we, we uh, talked a little bit, well, I'll talk a little bit earlier about our, <coughs> our um, bocce ball champion there, Troy, Troy Miller, yeah. <laughs> so, good day. Um, always sucks being the last day, packing up here, and we've got, uh, most of the camp packed up, but we just ate a little fish, had a good meal tonight, and we're uh, burning the, some of the last logs here. Got a few more. Looks like the maybe the wood gnomes are going to be good to uh, uh, the next the next camping group. But uh, let's start with uh, Troy. How's your day today? It was a great day. Started out early this morning on the water at six o'clock. Got some nice bass. Had a great time with that. Really enjoyed, obviously, winning the. Matilda back again. She'll have a good home at, with me until next year. So, but it is a little sad to say goodbye. Yeah, uh, no slow fishing for us in the afternoon, but uh, very exciting fishing with Carter at night, though. Yeah, yeah. We'll let Carter tell us. Sorry. Uh, hey, Bob. How was your day? Ah, uh, it was great. We were on the on the lake. We ended up. Uh, Finding is some good walleye spots and and got some nice nice keepers and ended up having to fillet twelve walleyes by the time all said and done between the group here. So and number two. Scott. Yeah, I'd say we definitely found some good fishing spots for next year. We'll yeah. You know, we're gonna probably camp more in the middle, but you know, if the if the wind's good, we'll we'll be back down here and we've got some spots sealed up for next year. So. Teddy made a nice spaghetti dinner, so we're all carbo-loaded yeah. and ready to go. Yeah, hydra rehydrated the hamburger and, yeah, remembered the, the tomato paste this year, so that... <laughs> Last year's was good, too. So. Yeah, yeah, made a made, made some made some difference, so. Carter, you've got an interesting uh, story here. Yeah. How, how's your fishing tonight? It was, yeah, like you said, interesting. So we, me and Troy went out. We went over to Ted's Bay, right over to the right of our camp, and... Uh, one first thing that happened is we saw a tree that fell over a very live tree we have no idea what knocked it over but that was pretty interesting watching that happen and then second thing that happened was uh i was casting my uh line for the last time and i had just got done setting up my pole so i threw it and the front of the pole because it's a two-piece flew off into the water and then troy was like Man, would it be funny if you caught something right now? And then all of a sudden the water, whoosh, we, I ended up catching something. So I had to reel in. It snapped off. And then I tried to pull it in, but the line was there. So my pole just kept floating away. So I tried to go grab it, and the whole canoe just was shaking around. We almost went in the water tonight. That was close. Yeah, it was a close <laughs> one. But other than that, it was fun fishing tonight. So. Almost dump try. <laughs> but your, the rest, your whole day was good? Yeah. You know you didn't win the bocce ball tournament. Yeah, so I came down to two things with that. One, uh, you know, bocce ball to me is like fantasy football for my dad. You know, <laughs> give me like a couple years and maybe I'll get lucky eventually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow. I love it. Yeah, yeah. That that was just, shots that are fired. Shots are fired. Yeah. yeah. Well, Flamer Boy is on Oh, the money there now. it is. Oh, yeah. yeah. Bring up something else other yeah. than that. Whoa. Maybe anything else. But, uh, second thing is I'm pretty pretty glad Matilda's not coming with me to Fargo this year. So. I was kind of looking forward to the pictures you're going to yeah, get. Yeah, I know. Them. I'm glad I don't have to do that now. Yeah, Car Carter said he was going to get topless women to take pictures uh, posing and send to all of us. I mean, if yeah. I win, if I we, get lucky. We still haven't come up with the name of the group, but we think it's something to do with Matilda. Yeah. So we're we're gonna we're gonna work off that and and uh we'll we'll have a name for this group by next year. So you All right, Scotty. Online, you know, vote. How was your day? Ah, uh, wonderful. A great day. You know, everything from uh, uh getting on the water fishing, found lots of uh Lots of walleye today, so that was a lot of fun. Seeing walleye or uh, seeing wild cat fish and getting really excited, it was awesome. Um, and then uh, seeing the eagles swoop down out of the sky, white swan everywhere. It was a good day. Yeah, too bad we can get some uh, some video of that those eagles. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, there was some a really good camera. We'd put a 
couple of the, the fish remains out on that, that rock there in the middle, if you can see. And eagles would, would come in and and uh, every time eagles came in the area, seagulls would be chasing after them. And and uh, this it was pretty impressive seeing uh, the eagle with uh, being hot pursuit by the seagulls and still make a, a dive in and grab the, these fish remains and take off. So it was pretty cool. Yeah, we got <laughs> we didn't we didn't show you the video yet. I'll have to post it of uh, you guys coming rowing back in paddling back in after your day of fishing and we we, we videoed that there's there was a there, yeah they're all over there's crook and and then uh yeah yeah scott had stopped rowing at one point and uh lyle didn't realize that so we yelled, yelled out and, and uh Wow. Ratted, ratted Scott out. Yeah, yeah. Lyle looks back. Hey, get your ass! Right. Roll a little bit. Yeah, that's no, funny. that's why I didn't win the basketball tournament. I have yeah. one Scott around the lake <laughs> at the all day. Yeah. Uh, but he did put me on the fish, so I had yeah. uh, three nice keeps of walleye yeah. today. Yeah, you guys did well. You guys yeah. did well. That's good. So, yeah, we had uh, we have eight fish all together. Yeah. Yeah. Out of walleye yeah, hole there. Fish. So. Really glad you could nice. come, Lyle. That's. Yeah. It's been fun. We had a great day today. I mean, weather's been great the whole time. Ted, I eat better here than I eat at home. <laughs> yeah. Don't show this to your wife. Well, no. she won't <laughs> or be become a better cook. Yeah, <laughs> I'd become a better cook. So. Good times, though. Good times. And my favorite part of the evening is always this interview time. I love that part. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. You know, we'll we'll post everything, and then you'll have you'll have memories for a long there time. You go. I like it. Yeah, no, it, this the the boundary wires. It's sad to leave. Uh, you know, it's great memories, but uh, the the only thing that I think that it's good about leaving tomorrow thing. is uh, sounds like Monday is supposed to be up to an inch of rain. So, so I guess it's only only good reason to be out tomorrow. I guess, but uh, we're gonna get up early. Try to get up around uh, five a.m. And be out by eight, but maybe be out, if we're up at five, we might get out earlier too. So we'll have, we'll have grab a light breakfast and head out and try and beat the wind. The wind's going to be kind of in our face a little bit, but not shouldn't be too strong, especially early. So, but goal is to be in the parking lot and at the outfitter shortly around noon. So, all right. Any last words? All right. Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Dad. Yeah. Thank you. Good the times. 2022 uh, Boundary Waters trip is almost in the books.